This is a short video to explain as to why uh, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society has been put in subliminal images within their publications. I found that, that they uh, put some easy ones some hard ones, but uh, they're actually beyond the reach of the naked eye. The first one is, uh, as you probably know before, from the Learn from the Great Teacher. And if you turn to page 45, as you see in the corner there, this is one of the first stages where the, the item is there but of course it's the acceptance of whether it's there or not and if you look be above the, the lady there you should see a walking eerie tree there but if they actually put uh, the one that's been shown upside so down on the same page like so, you should be able to see another walking eerie tree with the nose there, the beard, the eyes there now this is the one stage because it's a whole complete it is complete and a, a, a sublimal image there now if we go to the watchtower some images this is the watchtower who is Jesus Christ this is September the 15th 2005 and if you turn the page to page 25 you see this item here now this is where they put in half of the image and they, they bury it so that it, it actually escapes the naked eye if you turn it around like that you see and then if you put a mirror on the edge of the page you should be able to see the goat's head that is shown there so this is the 2005 watch day it's your September the 15th uh, now of course they get a bit harder as uh, you see here this is uh, taking page 158 from the Live Forever book and if I was to tell you that there are actually facial images hidden in uh, the background there you probably won't believe me because they're much more harder to get but if I show you a few you got one here got the two eyes there, there's the nose, there's the mouth there and if you come all the way here to the top you should see another one here there's the eye, there's a bunch of nerves, there's a mouth there and let's see if we find one more uh, well that's about it for now that's it, oh one more here this one here there, two eyes there, there's a nose there, there's a the mouth there showing there of course they, they get more harder and harder and harder to, to see and the, one of the reasons why they've been doing this is that is to actually make people believe in what they've been saying. Uh, this is a, a picture of the earliest publications by Charles T. Russell, and it's uh, as you can see here the Menemio Dawn issues here. But if you look down here, you should see there's a Freemason sign. This is the lamp of, of learning on top of the volume of the most sacred law or the bible and you'll find that the earliest editions of the Watchtower publications look to page 200 and 201 of the Proclaimers of God's Kingdom publication and there you will find there that there's a badge that the Jehovah's Witnesses back then uh, was wearing for 40 years and they all, all, all of a sudden they stopped so it's to, to make people believe um, that there's nothing actually wrong with this. Um, the man who produces books, his name is Charles Taylor Russell, and he predicted that the end of the world was to be here in 1914. Of course, his prediction to come wrong. Uh, to many people, here yeah, this man is a false prophet, but if you were to talk to a Jehovah's Witness about this man, because the publications put him in a very good light, they do not accept him as a false prophet even though he gave a prophecy about 1914 and up to date this publication You Can Live Forever in Paradise on Earth is this picture on page 154 now this is one of the, m one of the main reasons why they stopped studying this, this publication uh, with two Bible students because of what it says here in paragraph 8 it says there after drawing attention to the many things that have marked the period time from 1914 onward, Jesus said, This generation would be no, no means passed away 
and so all things including the end of the system occur they've incorporated the end of the system within that one scripture this so is what did Jesus mean he meant the generation of people who were living in 1914 these persons yet remain of that generation are now very old now this publication came out I have to show you this Here we are, 1982, there you see, first edition, 5,000 copies, and I've got one of the first editions here. Now, if you do your calculation, and use this graph here, this says some of the generation living in 1914 will see the end of the system of things and survive it. Now, the people today will be now 96 years old. In four years' time, four to five years' time, they'll be 100 years old. Now, the, the thing is, is that if they're 96 years old, how many people do you think are alive if they were actually born in 1914? The picture illustration then is a, a little boy. So if you add on, say, the four or five years on top of that, you would think they'll be about 100 years old now. But as you and I know, that, that uh, this is an actual false prophecy given here in the Live Forever book. You can live forever in paradise on earth. So these subliminal images, as you see here, and I've shown you before, ones such as this, and the ones that are buried in, in the pictures, such as this one here, they are there to make sure that the people who read this, the Jehovah's Witnesses, believe that there's nothing wrong. So, I leave the choice up to you as to uh, whether you, you want to still want to believe in prophecies like this. But, as we know that this publication was being produced by the people who call themselves a governing body, and uh, we know that uh, perhaps some of those governing body members are still alive today. So, are they prophets? Well, they must do, because if they give this prophecy here, so therefore, this is uh, stating now that the governing body are now classified as false prophets.